What's up, man? Yes, sir. What's up, guys? Today I got the uh, TLR tuned Arma Typhon out for a nice little rip. Uh, this time she is truckified. Um, I did the uh, first bash video with it, completely stock. I just geared it up and stuff. If you guys want to check out that video, it was a hard bash. Um, I'll put a link in the description. But now she's truckified, a little bit more width on her, and uh, some bigger uh, 2.8 size tires. These tires are actually the uh, 4S uh, Team Corrali Skeeter tires, and they fit on here perfect. That's a perfect 2.8 size and they handle 6S really nice. Uh, when I ran my Skeeter on 6S, they performed uh, flawlessly. As far as the extra width on it, instead of switching out to uh, creating hubs like we did way back in the day, the hubs and hexes and all that and axles, I just uh, simply threw on the M2C plus five millimeter hexes right here and it gave it the extra width that it needed uh, for handling and for those tires to clear the hubs nicely. As far as the upgrades, uh, still running a uh, stock chassis on it, the stock TLR Tune chassis. So far it's holding up nice. Uh, no bends after the last bash that I did on it. Um, but it does have the M2C Racing uh, chassis braces front and rear, uh, upper suspension block, the uh, top plate right there, beautiful top plate, and also the M2C uh, front tower, and then the uh, bolts for the shocks right here, the shock standoffs. In my opinion, if you wanna bash this thing hard, you do need to upgrade the uh, chassis braces, of course, and also the front tower, or maybe the rear tower too, so you can actually run regular pins right here that lock into this upper suspension mount. Because the way the stock setup is, it's pretty tough, but it's more set up for racing, for adjustability and stuff. So if you have a really bad wreck, it's gonna bust out the little plastic pieces in there and you're gonna lose your arms. And so that right there definitely beefcakes up the front end on this thing. As far as the electronics for this setup, I'm running the Spectrum 2050 KV motor with a 17 tooth pinion, stock spur with a BLX 185, a full punch and a power HD 23 kilogram servo. As far as the diffs go, I did add the 13 by 16 shim up against the uh, ring gear right there, and I've got uh, 50,000, 200,000, and 20,000 in the rear. So we're gonna give her a quick little blast and see what's up. <laughs> little wheelie machine. This thing's got some insane power. All right, guys, let's get straight to business and do the uh, death pit launch. I just cannot miss the ramp. I got a curb right here. I destroyed my uh, XRT like that. So uh, we got to hit the ramp. Oh. All right, guys, I'm gonna get to a point where I'll jump a car anywhere where I gotta run up. <laughs> gotta get creative. <laughs> oh, that wasn't good. I came up short for some reason. Ah, right on that asphalt. Ooh, that hurt. I felt that when that hit. Hey, what? That'll be a testament to the TLR tune chassis. <laughs> I don't see much of a bend, but I did lose two screws right here at the diff. I got one. That's probably why what happened. I snagged right there on that screw or these screws right here. So I didn't get that good of a jump. So I came up short. But man, that was a brutal landing. was my bad <laughs> and she ain't running I think something's broke god that was stupid I knew that curb was there I was hoping to, it went further than I thought I was hoping to stop it in time looks like it just popped a pillow ball and uh bent the chassis big time in the back of backward flex and that was stupid well, nobody's perfect. We all do stupid stuff every once in a while.
hold it and quite make it. I almost lost that sign. Yeah, guys, it's so nice to have another uh, Truggified back in the fleet, especially one running the 2.8 tires. What's up, man? Yes, sir. guys what an amazing buggy this TLR tune Typhon in a uh, Truggified form this thing was a complete blast uh, to get out here I haven't ran a Truggified Typhon like this in probably three or four years especially running the uh, 2.8s my other V4 has the extended hubs on it and stuff but it's not you know it doesn't have the uh, 2.8 tires on it to give it that little mini monster buggy feel no brakes on this thing I did pull the the uh, screws out of the t-bone bumper right there and I uh, broke the body post right here that's why I'm having to tape the body on to keep it on there but it was a whole lot of fun big shout out to uh, Arma and M2C Racing Everything on it is uh, still intact. The chassis is a little bit, <laughs> a little bit warped up from that uh, massive curb hit earlier, but again, that was my fault. So, all right, guys, it's a bunch of fun. Until next time, RC Dude 81. Peace out.